Hi guys, Sammy D here and welcome to another EXO Zombies video and we're back on the carrier map and in this video I've been asked to do sort of a higher round guide, to, not a tutorial, um, tips and tactics on how to survive the higher rounds, like, like specifically like over round 20, um, you know, ha the best ways to train the zombies and wipe all them out the best way to deal with the goliaths that obviously come with the bomb defusals after round 20 um how to deal with how intense it gets after this my highest round solo is 29 um i got sweaty hands it was intense i was i was nervous it was a lot harder than the other two advanced warfare maps so um hopefully um this is going to help you out uh, we're about to go into round 20, so I'll just wipe out these crawlers and we'll get on with it now As you can see at the minute, I'm in the cargo room, which for me is The best room to be in to get all the zombies lined up um, The guns I would advise using are guns with a lot of ammo um, as you can see I've got the HBR a3. I've upgraded it to mark 8 um, I like to use this gun because it's probably one of my it's definitely my favorite war gun and not only that but you can buy ammo off the wall which obviously if you're going to be taking out a lot of zombies higher on in the higher rounds um it's obviously going to get a lot more intense now we've got a bomb to defuse in the hangar i believe this will be the first one with the goliath i haven't opened this door yet so we'll crack this one open yep he's in there so we'll open that door and this is the sentinel care package that we've oh crap okay so right that didn't quite go to plan um i think the higher up you get in the rounds the less time you get to defuse the bomb so as you can see the one in the hangar got detonated but like i was trying to explain um the sentinel care package uh, is new to the carrier map they will actually defuse the bomb for you um if you haven't got that care package um the goliath's quite easy to take out um in case you saw him he was in there in the hangar um they've took out quite a lot of zombies as well to be fair other ways are obviously using your traps, your assault drones and things like that. Um, the Goliath isn't actually that hard to take out. He will, you can just shoot him and he'll go down. Um, but he is quite powerful and you will take a lot of damage. Um, so as you can see here, this is why the cargo room is probably my favourite room to uh, get through the higher rounds. Because it's the, probably the biggest room on the map. Get them all grouped up. As you can see, I've got contact grenades. I also have the crossbow. This helps out a lot to take out, obviously, multiple zombies at once. Um, getting them in a line isn't easy in the cargo room, I will point out, um, because they'll come through the middle, they'll come from either side. Um, so once you've jumped around in there for a bit, probably the best way to actually get them physically lined up is to come out into this room in the bio lab room because you can either obviously go up the top down the bottom the zombies will do either or um and this will obviously get them more lined up because it's a quite a long corridor type room so that's sort of my technique for getting through the higher rounds um I'm fortunate enough to have got distraction drones out of the 3D printer. Um, that's an easier way to get rid of the bombs. Um, they won't actually work on the... Um, obviously on the um, Atlas soldiers. Neither does camouflage. Um, you know, if you've got the camouflage care package, they'll still... Um, they'll still be able to shoot you. For those of you who don't know, there is a new um, XO upgrade on the carrier map, which uh, gives you one extra of each grenade. So you get one extra standard grenade or contact grenade. Um, 
And you'll also get one extra um, of your other grenades, i.e. like teleport grenades or distraction drones, nano swarms. You get one extra, so you'll get three and five instead of two and four. Now the other tip I've got is Chumpy, the trap in the cargo room. works really well to right I'm just gonna shoot out a distraction drone and show you how look he goes down so easy that Goliath so don't be too frightened thinking oh man is he gonna take us out no so you know that Goliath. Don't be don't be frightened of it. Um, it goes down really easy. You can just shoot him. Um, but yeah, what I was about to say before we got the um, the bomb to detonate was Chumpy actually works as a really good distraction drone. Um, as well as obviously killing a few zombies, which I've noticed one flaw with using that trap is they tend to follow behind him rather than in front. Um, so we won't actually kill them if they're behind him. But like I say, it does work as a, as a really good distraction drone. So even if you haven't got the drones like that, um, the zombies will chase uh, Chompy around and work as a really good distraction so that's another tip but you can see what I'm doing obviously um, working my way around the cargo map coming out into the bio lab um, they're obviously all lined up like this nice and nicely nicely lined up so they're my tips for the higher rounds, apart from obviously your standard um, using your care packages, using the traps. Um, I've just got one last tip. Um, is rooms that I would avoid are the smaller rooms. I would tend, I tend to avoid the lift like the plague. Um, it's really small, it's really cramped. Um, if you get stuck in there, you're screwed. The moon pool is a really good one to not necessarily get them lined up, but it's a circular room and the trap in there, I'll uh, quickly run through that for you. Because that's probably one of my other favorite rooms to be in. But this is the lift. This is the room I would tend to stay out of. It's small, it's cramped, you can't really jump very high. No. Okay, so I'll show you the trap that's in the moon pool. This one is probably my favourite trap. How amazing. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, and because it shoots you up in the air, um, let's pop that. It can sometimes save your ass from zombies actually attacking you. It's always a bonus. Um, it's quite a cramped room though, but again, it gives you the ability to jump around like a madman. So, as you can see here, uh, plenty of space to jump around. Pretty cool trap in the room. Um, so, if you don't fancy this is another good room. Um, I personally prefer the cargo room, but I just thought I'd show you a nice alternative. But again, I would avoid the two spawn rooms as well. They're, they can be quite cramped. The lift is not fun. That's cramped. Way too cramped. Um, oh, that was close. Right, so there are a few of my tips and tricks to get you through the higher rounds. Um, hope you found this useful don't forget to check out my tutorial videos what I've done through on uh, previous maps because they'll also come in handy to tell you about different guns and all that good stuff and um, I've touched on a few new things in the carrier map 
Um, there's not much more you need to know. I hope you found the video useful, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!